Hi, I'm Nadine Bata, and on behalf of Tomorrow's Technician and Continental Belts and Hose, I'd like to introduce our March 2022 Student of the Month. Smith Hall is a senior at Rockbridge County High School in Lexington City, Virginia. Smith is credited for being a leader inside and outside of the classroom. While finishing up his final year in high school, Smith is currently working at a local repair shop, all while maintaining a 4.0 GPA and a varsity spot on the school's lacrosse team. Welcome to Smith Hall. Smith, what inspired you to take automotive classes during high school? Um, it goes way back into my youth. Uh, when I was around nine or 10 is when I started with soapbox derby, which is another form of like racing. So no engines in the cars, but it is cars. And uh, my uncle and I actually started racing. And when I was around nine or 10 is when I actually placed eighth in the world. So it was, it was like a big accomplishment and it was a lot of fun because you, you win local races and you just keep moving up. So that kind of got my eyes set on racing or just cars in general. But then as I got older, um, and especially as soon as COVID hit, uh, I was able to watch YouTube a lot. And I found Donut Media, which is a page that does a lot of car stuff. And me and my friends really got interested in being able to work on cars and just kind of the thought process on how cars work and how we can fix them. That's terrific. How challenging has it been to get a taste of the workforce while in your senior year? So at first, I thought it was going to be really challenging, but it was honestly just so, so rewarding because um, this shop, uh, Fairfield Tires in Fairfield, Virginia, um, they've been really great. And uh, Jeffrey Wiseman, my, my instructor, he actually reached out to the owner, David, and was able to give me a spot there. And as soon as I started, I really understood that uh, it was much different from a dealership because it's not all just one brand. It's we're getting tractors, we're getting all sorts of things, just normal vehicles. So uh, it really broadened the scope of how I can see the automotive field. Um, and it was challenging to uh, also do school at the same time. But um, more than that, it really helped affect the way I see cars in class here and the way I'm able to work on them. And it gave me uh, a way broader scope of my knowledge on, on engines. Good for you. Tell us, how are you able to juggle school, sports, work, and a personal life? So it really comes down to a lot of time discipline. Um, not really keeping a, ri a really rigid agenda, but really just trying to be on top of things and be constantly thinking about, okay, what's next? So I'm involved in Young Life and uh, student ministry in my local church and uh, and school and automotive. So it's honestly a lot of um, just time commitment, understanding and respecting the different places I've given my time. So I'm always thinking about um, how I can improve to respect people around me and how I can get the work done on time, not be late and uh, always just showing up ready to learn. It's awesome that you were able to figure out how to manage your time. Do you have a favorite project that you've worked on or are working on right now that you'd like to share with us? So the, uh, the big project that we've had this year has been a 2005 uh, Chevrolet Impala, and we've done a lot of work to it. So it's, it's a love-hate relationship. We're still working on it, but we're about to, uh, the end goal is to get it running and to be selling it for the school's auction to make some money towards our organization. But uh, so far, we've uh, replaced the rear main seal, the valve cover gaskets, oil pan gasket, and we actually did a full transmission rebuild we got the parts and uh, so we just got the subframe back in on it and uh, we're about to put wheels on it. So it's been really, really exciting to be able to work on it, but it's, it's a little bit sad too because we're almost done with it. But yeah, a lot of emotions. Finally, Smith, what are your plans for the future? Right now, I'm actually committed to Grove City College. It's a college up in Pennsylvania. I'll be uh, majoring in biblical and religious studies and my eyes are set on the Christian ministry. Um, but at the same time, I also know that my automotive uh, skills and abilities will always be with me. So whether it's even doing my own oil changes or helping a friend out on theirs or eventually down the line, being able to work part time at some industry that works on cars. I know that I'm always going to have the blessing of being able to turn a wrench and uh, really it, it makes me excited because I know that. I, I don't have some sort of tunnel vision on where I'm going, but rather I can really look forward to knowing that no matter where I am, I can uh, be working on engines, I can be working on anything. Smith's instructor, Jeffrey Wiseman, says. Uh, you know, I, I told, you know, I go home and talk to my wife about, you know, my day and everything. And one thing I've told my wife, like after just a few weeks of knowing Smith is, I want my son to be like that. That's how I want my son to be. If I can raise my son like that, I did an excellent job. Uh, so far, I'm on track. But, you know, he's uh, 
just a, yeah, just an excellent kid. Smith, once again, on behalf of tomorrow's technician and Continental, congratulations on being named the student of the month and good luck with everything moving forward. Instructors, if you happen to have the next student of the month in your classroom, please nominate him or her today. Just go to tomorrowstechnician.com to find the entry form. I'm Nadine Vita, and I'll talk to you again soon.